Have you ever worked at a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Park during the off-season? No? Well, stick around and I'll show you our typical day. Hi, I'm Steve Turtle, and I'm a work camper here at John H. Kerr Reservoir and Dam. It's a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Park. If you're a return visitor, welcome back. If this is your first time here, you should subscribe. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. Like I said, I want to talk about our typical daily routine here at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Park. And then a little bit later, I'm going to talk about pros and cons. I got five of each. But first, have you ever been sitting on your couch thinking about something that you wanted from Amazon? Wow, that was quick. <laughs> now that's fast service, right? Think of it, and it's here. Okay, enough of that silly stuff. Now let's go ahead and get started. We want to talk about that U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Park. That's right. Jill and I are working at a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Park here at John H. Kerr Reservoir and Dam. We did a story about the duties and compensations. If you missed that story and you'd like to see it, I'll leave a link right up there. Jill and I have been here going on five weeks now. We are officially the painters, part of the volunteer village people. And our job is to paint. Wake up and depart. I'm usually up around 7 a.m. and then I'm out and on the road by 9 a.m. ready to start my day. Now there are several gates that I might have to pass through. Some of the areas are closed off to campers right now because it's the off season, right? So I unlock my gate, I pass through, and I move on to the area where I plan to work. My plan is to work from D back to A. That's where we're staying. B has some sites that are open. Uh, we'll work around those. But so far we've been here a little over five weeks and uh, we finished D. All of D is complete. All the sign posts, all the, the uh, site posts, all the benches, everything's done. All right, that's it. If you don't do work, you don't get paid. Set up shop. I lay out all my painting accessories on the tailgate. It's my new shop. That's it, shop set up. I'm all ready to go. All I gotta do is go over here and paint something now. I'm painting signpost and site post. So I'm painting post all over the campground. Now North Bend Park has 249 campsites. Therefore, I have 249 site posts to paint. It's quite a few. A lot of job security right there. But anyway, I, I don't necessarily try to paint all the site posts at one time. I alternate between projects, trying to break it up a little bit, but finish an area before I move on to the next. So we're painting sign posts, and we have a lot of sign posts too. We have yield signs, direction signs, stop signs, campsite signs, handicap site signs, or handicap signs, no vehicle signs, speed limit signs, more stop signs. So we got all kind of signs and everyone has a post that I got to paint brown. We also have to paint some park benches. Normally around the restrooms, they got a couple park benches so that people, when they come out of the restroom waiting on their loved one or significant other, they can sit on a park bench, maybe play with their iPad or do something like that. Paint those benches too. Now, although I was assigned as a painter, I also do whatever projects they, they asked me to do. Here recently, uh, the lady that I work for, she asked me to go over and clean up one of the day use areas. We had a little bit of a flood, the water rose up and discarded a bunch of debris on this area. So I went over and cleaned it up, some gravel, some leaves, and a whole bunch of sticks, and things like that. Just clean it all up. It's an additional duty. Work's work. If you don't do work, you don't get paid. All right, that's a little bit about the duties. You know what it is, painting, that's all there is to it. Slapping paint on. Now let's talk a little bit about some pros and cons. I got five of each. They only are pros and cons as I see them, 
it could be different for you, but just to give you an idea of some of the things that, you know, are or are not great about the job. Not a lot of hours. Between the two of us, it's 24 hours. That's not much. And that gives us plenty of time to go on adventures. Like Appomattox marched before the Union Army. They turned over their flags, stacked their weapons, and began the journey back to their homes. Set your own work schedule. Jill and I, we discuss it every week. How are we going to plan out our week? Whatever days we want to take off, whatever days we want to work, as long as we get in our hours for the week. No long-term commitment. One month or stay as long as you'd like, or as long as they'll keep you. Great full hookup site. Concrete pad lined with timbers, fire pit, lantern post to hang my lantern on, and a beautiful view of the lake. A little wooded, squirrels, birds. Birds? Hold on a minute. Let me try to call one of them birds. And working in the great outdoors. The park is closed right now except for a few sites, but a lot of the areas, there's no one around. It's quiet and it's peaceful. You can walk along and enjoy the outdoors. Like this little squirrel that came over, he wanted to check me out. And sometimes you can find some old tracks. Look here, an old raccoon walking down by the lake, looking for some food. This is not a commercial for Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola did not sponsor this video in any way. They did not give me any money. If you feel bad about that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That'll make me feel really good. Weather. Anytime you're working outside, you gotta be concerned about the weather. Jill and I, we were sitting over on the couch the other day, talking about the weather. You know what we decided? What'd you say? I think you should have asked Carl. Well, let's go ahead and talk to Carl, see what he thinks. I don't rely on the local weather. I have my own way of predicting the weather. I have my own personal weather person. That's right, Steve, an accurate way of forecasting the weather. I just poke my head out the camper, check the temp, the wind speed, and the humidity. Then I put all that data into my algorithm, and then voila. We have an accurate forecast for that week, or day, or hour. So Steve, that plan that you and Jill just discussed should work for today. Anyway, best of luck. Bending and walking. Now, if you're not used to it, it's a little difficult. It's not super hard, but you do a lot of bending, trying to get down to these signs and paint down close to the ground. You either bend or stoop, and you do a lot of walking. So we're walking from site to site, paint and post. Now, if you're not used to something like that, it could be a little bit taxing on you. For me, I get a little sore every once in a while, but it, actually, I think it's good for me. Get out and get some exercise. You have to use your own vehicle. Your own vehicle as a mode of transportation to and from the campsites back to your house. That's not that big of a deal, but you know, you gotta consider that. You're gonna work off the back of a tailgate. You know, you might slap a little paint here and there and get it on the tailgate, I don't know. But I tell you what, it's much better than working out of a car. Again, if you're working outside, there's gonna be bugs. Like this spider here, a daddy long legger. Every site post I come up to, they're like crawling all over it. I, I don't know, I, I'm not really scared of them. I can reach out and touch one. Peeing, that's right. All the water is turned off to all the sites, to all the bathrooms. So where do you go? Well, for me, it's easy. I just find a tree, make sure nobody's looking, and go, and go and go, and go some more. I drink a lot of coffee. Not so easy for Jill. We have to run over to the one bathroom that's still open. Well, that's what Jill and I are doing here at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Park in John H. Kerr Reservoir and Dam. Gave you a couple pros and cons just so you can get an idea of some of the things that we think are good and think that are bad. The cons, they're not so bad. I just throw them out there in case it's something that might bother you, I don't know. For the most part, we enjoy this work, we enjoy this part, and we've had a good time here and we'll do it again. Well, that's our story for the week. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, 
click like down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to hear more stories like this one. New stories every week on Wednesday right here on this YouTube channel. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye.